the pro journey in itself is is one story but when you make it to the pros and, and you get a, a, a actual championship like how, how did that shit feel for you man just just it, it even if whether it was nfl or afl but obviously you got the one in afl and in afl at some point i still remember that shit growing up bro like i tuned in like i love the fact that when the nfl was over there was more football on and afl was my yeah. fucking that was my go-to and, and how did that shit feel in, in 2015 to, to, to win the title man it was exhausting like, that, was my, <laughs> that was my first championship ever you know what i'm saying so you know i didn't play on a whole lot of good teams like just growing up in, in general so um to kind of win it and the way that you know our head coach kind of went about it and i mean i signed with that team for a reason like it was championship or bust like that was their thought process on the whole season that was my thought process i wanted to be a part of that puzzle and um you know it was crazy kind of going into it because i had so i had got released by the jets i ended up being number one overall pick in the arena draft um to portland so i was in portland for that year ball 11 interceptions i'm like okay man, i need i need to get my bread right so a bunch of, you know, pretty much every AFL team in the league called me, and they was all basically just telling me, like, oh, yeah, we, you know, you're going to be the star of our secondary, and, we, you know, you're going to be doing this, and uh, you're the leader, all this. And, but San Jose, who I ended up signing with, they sat me down and was just like, well, I mean, you know, you'd be a piece of the puzzle, but, you know, everybody got to do their part. Yeah. Um, they sat me down, went over my film, like, look, you can get better here, you can get better there. Like, look at your feet here. Like, why'd you do this? Why'd you do that? They nitpicking, like, look, this was our scout report on you. Hill striker, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but we can get you better. And you can help us win the championship. I'm like, shoot, I'm in. I mean, they paid me the most too, but I'm yeah. in. Like, you know what I'm saying? They kept, up, they kept it a bug with you and held you accountable, man, for sure. Yeah, held me accountable. And it was tough, man. There was a lot of transition with that. Like, just the style of coaching, the changing up my entire technique that I have. You know, I played a certain way my whole life. And all, and I just came off a year, I had 11 interceptions. And they're like, nah, like, yeah, you did, but you did this all wrong. Like, you know what I'm saying? And um, they changed up everything, made me a better, I mean, I look much smoother, better, and quicker, and on my breaks, everything on film. And, but just the, I mean, we were balling. We only lost one game all year. And, but even after every game, you felt like we lost because it was always something you felt like you could have done better. The standards were so high. And just the way that practice, everything. And it was just like, God damn. So it was exhausting, but yeah. it was cool to, you know, win that championship and kind of understand the level of uh, preparation you kind of have to have, the, the level of discipline you got to have and, and the level of buy-in to be able to win a championship. Hey, 